tonight. If game one was this good. Here they come. Here's the pass. Got it, it is caught. Oh, this may be it. Cameron Polk. Cameron Polk from 59 yards. What about game two? It's Fishers and Hamilton Southeastern in the sectional semis. Plus, the road to Lucas Oil Stadium takes another big step. So let's roll. Hi, we're the Zionsville Cheerleaders, and Friday Football Frenzy starts now. This is Friday Football Frenzy. That might have been the best all season. Hey, good evening. Welcome to week 11 of Friday Football Frenzy. A date in next week's sectional finals on the line and the hardware of a championship trophy to boot. An old-fashioned HCC battle to start our coverage tonight. I was also our HCSN Game of the Week. Fishers at Hamilton Southeastern had a great pregame show tonight. Our thanks to the Royal Student Section and good luck to the cheerleaders. Comp uh, compete at regionals tomorrow at Pendleton. They're the three-time state champs. Fisher's ready, though, for this one. Connor Christensen plows in, gets bumped around, scores from a yard out, 7-0 Tigers. Late first, number 25 is Maurice Campbell, cuts outside, nice run, gets the 10 when Southeastern's Zach Reedsug strips it, balls bouncing around, ends up in the end zone, bad scramble. We're told Jay Shun Harris falls on it, the officials touchdown. Fisher's up 14-0, midway through the second. Back to Christensen, rolls out. Finds Justin Weininger. 17 yard score. I mean, you kidding me here? Fishers up 21 0 at the break. Third quarter, then, more of the same. Campbell, touchdown. Tigers get revenge in a big way from that week two loss. 42 to 7, the final. First ever win, by the way, at HSC. Greg Rakestraw with the Tigers afterwards. And no, no way did we think it was going to be that kind of a game, but I, you just got to hand it to our kids. They just really played well tonight, all sides of the ball, all phases of the game. Uh, defense just played outstanding. It's unbelievable. I, I can't even begin to describe. I mean, just the way our team practiced. I mean, we just had just a great practice. Coach Wimmer just, I, I can't even thank the guys enough. I mean, it was unbelievable. All right, so other score in sectional four, McCutcheon wins at Noblesville. So next week's final, Fishers will host McCutcheon for the sectional championship. All right, the Class 4A Greenwood having its best season in seven years. Tonight, the Woodman at home against big, bad Ron Colley, Brad Brown. Back from Johnson County with all the highlights tonight. Brett. Dave, thanks. Greenwood started 8 0. They lost the regular season finale to Whiteland. Coach Mike Campbell said his team needed that wake up call, and they would see if those lessons paid off tonight against Ron Colley. The Rebels were up 7 at the half. Quarterback Cam Smock went deep into the playbook to start the third quarter. Watch Ron Colley going with the flea flicker. Joe Madden, the pass. David Hewitt, the catch, great play, and it really set the tone for the half as Ron Colley took a 21-7 lead there. Then the Rebel defense coming up with a big play on the ensuing possession. Ben Heller's pass picked off. Six foot seven Michael Clemens comes up with the INT there. That would set up another score as Ron Colley's cruising in this one. 21 points in the third quarter. A great run by Dylan Evans here. Makes a couple of guys miss on his way to the end zone. Rebels roll 35-14 win. And let's have a look at who they will get in the sectional final. It is Cathedral, 49-19 winner over Lebanon. Gino Gill and Mike Hummel both over 100 yards rushing for the Irish. Cathedral will be the home team. The site still to be announced. They're leaning toward playing that one at Tech. Let's go back to Class 5A Center Grove. Ed Franklin, they got the Jet Heaters? Come on. Not yet. Not until at least semi-state. Must have warmed up CG, though, because here they go. Connor Stapleton, second play for the Trojans offense. 71 yards on the scoring scamp for 7-0. Just that quickly, and then watch the hit of the night, hit of the month, hit of the season. Ryan Torrance on the return. Hold your breath, Dave. Oh. <laughs> Devin Hensley <laughs> knocks the ball loose. Woo, that would set up another score. Luke Calvert to Kyle Buchanan. Big win for CG tonight, 62-6. to They host Columbus North next Friday night. It marks the sixth time in seven years that Ron Colley and Cathedral are going to meet in the sectionals. The Irish won the first five head-to-head -head leading into this one next week, Dave. That was a hit, uh, literally and figuratively. Thanks, Brad. Pilot Randy Fisher giving us the all-clear for SkyCam 6 tonight, hitting Mount Vernon and Zionsville, sectional 13 and 6. Put it all together. It's tonight's Friday football frenzy. Fly like the sun sets on the final Friday in October. Sadly, it also does so for half the teams in the state. Which school could avoid it all in sectional 13. Mount Vernon not wasting any time from Skycam 6. It's Anthony Burnett going 22 yards. Mount V up 7 nothing.
It could be a sign of things to come for the Marauders, a team that likes to keep it on the ground, but Pendle and Hyatt's can throw with the best of them. Contrasting styles, and so far, both have worked this season. More of that Mount Vernon ground game, and more of Burnett. This time goes 43 yards for the score. Make it 21 nothing Marauders. Meanwhile, Pendleton's offense never materializes early. The screen pass met with some stingy defense as Mount V is thinking shutout. Add one from fullback Andy Spears. Mount Vernon advances 54-34. To Zionsville, sectional six, hosting Pike, and the Eagles control the first half. Parker Dunshee on a 13-yard keeper. Zionsville up 17-0. It's actually 17-3. Eagles up at the half and plenty to dance about for the Zionsville dance team. But for the first time all season, this isn't the place to hang out at halftime. No, no, no. Sports cool? Forget about it. Oh, yeah, that's the real deal there. Pike is hot as the drinks in the second half. Brent Lyles to Jordan Marshall, 20-yard TD. Pike within a score. But not for long. Lyles adds two touchdown runs, including this faked out 53 yard score. Red Devils up 24 17. Zionsville loses starting quarterback Parker Dunchy in the fourth, out with an ankle injury. But Scott Panola comes up big. Six yard score under a minute to go. Time for the two point conversion and the lead. But Pike's D holds, and the celebration is on. Pike comes from behind to beat Zionsville 24-23 as we wrap up week 11 of Friday Football Frenzy. Flylights. All right, so next week, Pike at Avon, Delta at Mount Vernon sectional championship. List of unbeatens remaining in the tournament, growing smaller each week. Lawrence Central still in it. Bears going for 11-0 tonight at Warren Central. Jason Spells has that, plus Chittard and Burbank. Bears and the Warriors battling it out on the east side. Lawrence Central looking to stay undefeated on the season. Pick it up in the second half. LC up 14 to nothing. When in the third, Warren's Anthony Cooper. Taylor hits Darius Lee over the middle. Warriors cut the Bears' lead to seven. Minutes later, Coach Jason Westbunch responds on fourth and two. Drake Christensen with the quarterback keeper. The senior outruns everybody 45 yards for the score. Bears open up a 21 to 7 lead in the fourth quarter. Warren Central not going away quietly. This time, Jeff George, the signal caller, he hits Krishan Hogan over the middle. Dub C once again cutting the lead to seven. Less than three minutes left to go in the game. Warren Central goes for the onside kick, but great hands by the Bears. Lawrence Central recovers the kick. LC singing its way all the way to the sectional finals. They win it 21 to 14. Game number two, Bishop, Chittard, and Brebuff, a rematch from week one. Pick it up in the first half, Trojans up seven, Braves threatening, Tyler Hope looking for the touchdown, but Joe Fagan thinking otherwise. The interception, Chittard wins again and wins big, 28 to nothing. I'm Jason Spells for Friday Football Frenzy. Jason, thanks. One more from Class A, 1A number 7, Cecina going over to Knightstown. Visitors in control of this one, Cecina's Rocky Leffler takes the handoff, 26 yards out. Part of a big night for the Crusaders. They win easily 55-13. Improved to 8-3. Cecina hosts Eastern Hancock next Friday. Don't forget, scores and highlights available 24-7 online. Just go to the all-new IndyChannel.com. Also have pictures you, po uh, you posted from tonight's games as well. Click on the Friday Football Frenzy League. We are back after this quick timeout.